So this is what I've got found at a rummage sale that was at the coffee shop that recently sold here. So I think it was 4.30 a.m. coffee shop, but it was not in their shop. It was in their garage. It was actually in walking distance of our house. So I was at some rummage sales earlier and I'm like, I wasn't finding anything, but I decided to, I want to say, go to Quick Trip because I was hungry. So I bought a whole pizza, already cooked and all that, ate half of it. So I'm like, I ain't too far from home. So I went and dropped, went back home, dropped off the pizza, seen the sign. So, they didn't have much, but, so I had gotten this set for, like, I want to say $25. Yes, that's a lot of money <laughs> for a piece that's, um, I want to say not marked, you know, and we'll zoom in so you can see what I'm saying. It's not marked at all, so it's other metal. So it's supposed to be lapis and Indonesian pearl is what they said. On all of them, though. But there, there was some rice pearls, but some of them look like the necklace was, I mean pulled apart from the beads where basically yeah this would be too small for my wrist and then I got the necklace in the in the deal so I'm I was almost gonna get the one where it had black onyx with the pearls but I was like, you know, the lapis and the, um, I want to say the pearls had a nice touch. Um, they had cheap old cameras. If you're into, really into collecting antique vintage cameras, I used to have been into that. And then I think I got tired of that, so... Yeah, in my younger days, you know, in my early 20s, I used to have been really into where I had to pick up one of them cameras anytime I seen them at a garage sale back in the day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, other YouTubers that go out to garage sales and thrifting, they say the same thing, you know. After so long of collecting the same thing, they get tired of it, and then they just, uh, they, they go and they're like, what, what was I thinking, you know? <laughs> you, you know, it, it's just like, even in my younger days, I had an interest in Bruriana. Um, the one garage sale before this had, I want to say, a Schiltz, um, cooler and to me it looked like a drawstring bucket bag and it didn't feel like an like a purse I'll tell you that right now but huh. but they said it was a cooler which was a little laugh I mean it wasn't too bad of a price so um yeah I think like what's next week I might try going to maybe Landmark Christian Church Drift Sale just to support them at least one time. But it's like, honestly, I also got to watch how much money I do spend. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. And don't forget to like, comment, and share the channel if you haven't. It, as it would help get my channel out there to people that don't know about it yet. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.